Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about RTV job A command or retrieve job attribute command. So there is lot there are lots of information that we can retrieve from this command in SQL program. So we will cover one by one. So let's see the program in edit mode. So I'm taking this program in edit mode and here for the demo purpose we have declared three variables. First is job name, second is user, and third is job number. Now there is one question how we will get to know that how much length is required for job name how much uh, length is required for user and job number and what type we need to declare here so there is one beauty with this command like we can uh, find those information also in the uh, command itself so what you need to do you just simply uh, need to write rtv job a com command then take f4 so once you take F4, you will be reached to this screen where you can find all the information related to uh, to the variable that we want uh, that we need to declare. Okay. So for uh, now for this session, we are uh, using uh, we are trying to retrieve only these three information, which is job, user, and number. So here you can see the attribute is also given. We just need to declare ten character job name, ten character username, and six uh, characters job number so these are the three information that we can hold in these three variables so this is the length of the variables that we need to declare okay so you just need to simply write these three variable uh, which uh, we will use to hold these information once this command got executed so in same manner i have declared the variable here on line number 10 job name of character type of length 10 similarly user of character type of length 10 and job number of character type of length 6 so these are the three variables that we are going to use to hold the values which will be written by the retrieve job attribute command okay so once this command got executed we will uh, get these information in these variable job name user and job number so here on line number 20 we are uh, printing the job name on line number 24 we are printing the username and on line number 28 we are printing the job number so for printing these value I'm using sndpjmmsg command and as these variable are in character type so we can directly pass them inside the parenthesis so you just simply need to write sndpjmmsg then take f4 and here you can pass your variable name which you want to print so let's try to call this program and see what it is returning so I'm compiling it so yeah it has compiled successfully now I'm calling it so once I call this program you can see there is information we have got uh, the job name then the username and then the job number so this is how we can use this command to retrieve such in, uh, such an important information like job name user and job number so if I take F4 again or this RTV job command so you can see there are lots of variable or lots of information that we can retrieve from this command okay so if I do page down there are other information as well so these all thing we will try to uh, cover in the upcoming session like what all information we can uh, fetch from here and how it looks like okay so for this session we have just covered the upper three uh, things that is job name user and job number so I hope it is clear to all of you and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching Texture Method.